This is a story that begins over a year ago, when I very literally tried to fit a square peg into a round hole. This is not ideal. But that was just a fun experiment. I built my house in Minecraft VR for no other reason than to see if I could do it and to put architecture as a skill on my resume. But fast forward more than a year later to last week, I'm playing my current Fallout 4 VR file and I'm about to make my house at Sanctuary when I realize I'm no longer attached to any wires with my Quest 2. I could, in theory, not just build my apartment and sanctuary for the meme, I could build my apartment and sanctuary and whenever I come back from the wasteland, I can just line up my sanctuary apartment with my real apartment and then just live in Fallout 4. Oh, that's the perfect fridge. Imagine getting home from a long day of punting mole rats and actually laying down on your sofa or sitting down at your desk or using the bathroom. Now that I'm actually sitting on my toilet with a Quest 2 on my face, I am rethinking every decision that I have ever made in my life. I was really excited to get started because unlike last time, this wasn't going to be a temporary thing. This was something I could do every time I played Fallout. Yeah, I think instead of my TV, I'm just gonna put a radio here because the TV that they have is too thick to fit on this table. And it's not like I'm gonna be watching TV anyways, so. You know, that's, that's like that's like the Fallout equivalent of a TV, okay? But even though I wasn't confined to square geometry anymore, there was still a lot of problems that needed to be solved once I started building. All right, time for the moment of truth. Oh. Oh, this is weird. For starters, the Oculus Guardian can burn in the pits of hell for all eternity. Facebook, as much as you clearly want to be, you are not my dad. Stop forcing me to use your Guardian at all times. It's not keeping me safe. It's keeping me at risk for heart disease. The fact that I can't turn it off makes me feel like you view me as a toddler who, if given the chance, will walk up to my front door, open it, turn around and lock it, walk down the hall to the stairs, walk down said stairs, and exit the front of my building, and walk right into the next oncoming truck if your precious guardian didn't save me first. And having to make a new guardian every time I walk into my bedroom because the guardian can only be as big as three-fourths of my apartment is beyond painful. You have more money than God, do better. It's so weird that I'm watching my toilet get rained on right now. Also, if you're wondering, uh, yes, I can see the toilet from my office. Thankfully, I don't really plan on sleeping while I play Fallout, so the Guardian issue in the bedroom isn't a huge deal outside of the initial build phase. I'm more just flabbergasted that it can't be turned off. Why does this have to be a thing? Wow, that wall really works there. And now I'm in the bedroom. Wow, my couch really is right on the other side of the bedroom wall. That was really the only problem that the quest itself gave me. Every other problem was Todd Howard's fault. For example, I really wish the containers in Fallout 4 were stackable. I could find a good shape in just about any piece of furniture to make the smaller walls in my apartment where a giant Fallout wall would not fit. But most of them were either too short or too tall on their own. And if they would just be polite and get on top of one another, it would have been perfect. Dog meat, would you mind getting out of the way? You could not be any more in the way. Thank you. In the arms of the also, for some reason, walking around in real life sometimes snaps my VR body's legs into rigid popsicle sticks, and then the tracking will get bumped out of place by a centimeter or two, but it never got so bad to where I had to reline up everything. It was just a little annoying. The coffee table's a little bit short, but that's okay, because it's it's not like I'm, I'm gonna be placing virtual things on my real coffee table. The things that really matter are, are the things that my body interacts with. Like, like the sofa especially, or my, my office chair over there, um, or, the, or the toilet. But other than the Guardian, the stacking, and the popsicle legs, it worked like a dream. Especially compared to Minecraft VR, Fallout 4 VR is perfect for this. This took me maybe an hour, maybe two. It was one session of playing Fallout that I completed my apartment. Meaning that, once I progress further into this file, it's easy enough that I can build my apartment in multiple settlements if I wanted to, and then I'll always have a home to get back to and interact with. Is it sad that uh, the view of this nuclear wasteland 
is more appealing to me than the parking lot that I'm usually staring at. Pause, pause. Here's the time code. You know what to do. Just go there. Why are you still listening to my voice? It could not be any easier. Just go. Now. Go. Run. Archer. It's a Hobbit. Spastic Ninja. David S. That. Tiny X-Men. Mega Man 5555. Your toaster's preferred something. Straight to Brazil. Sock. Martin M. Monkey Monkey. New monotremic robot kenosis thing. Fluffy Kid is a cool kid. He's back. Lazy Dante. Beer Money Games. Oh, sorry. There's an exclamation point there. Hang on. Beer Money Games. And Gunny 1971. But wait, there's more. And Gunny is a case of the last year's Chinese top lots. That is one of your best directs. Ladies and gentlemen, I would also like to observe a brief moment of silence for the fact that after five months, the first atomic mirror brain has finally died. It took five months to kill off Runa. Runa, thank you. I, I, I appreciate it more than you'll ever know. Um, but, but that's what I mean by it's absolutely hopeless. Like, the, the, the first one took five months to go away, and there's like 16. This was maybe the best idea I've ever had. Because as a very powerful man once said, it just works. The quest is so light and so wire-free that I do walk over to my couch when I get back to Sanctuary, and I do rest my lower back after a few hours of hyper-immersive human hunting. It's a good thing that I can go back to my couch after this, because... I refuse to do anything other than crouch IRL. It is a part of my Fallout 4 VR experience now, and I hope that there is someone else out there who also just got inspired to do the same thing, because besides being fun, it's also 100% the future, and I get to live in it now before Facebook buys the future. This is permanent. This is my permanent setup. Anytime I come back to Sanctuary, this is it. I can come sit on the couch, hang out. Oh God. Oh. Oh, it's the same thing that happened last time where when you see like that's my apartment door and my brain was like something just ran through your front door and it oh that's creepy anyways i hope this video gave you a chuckle because it gave me several chuckles making it as well as a healthy dose of disgust for sitting on my toilet in vr father forgive me for i have sinned the day after this video was posted on sunday i finally have the time to do a european friendly stream to every European who has ever yelled at me for my 2 a.m. stream times over there, this is your chance. It's a day's notice, and a day's notice for me is like six months in smooth brain time. It's tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern US time. That's like, I think, seven o'clock communism time or whatever you guys do over there. We're gonna play Pavlov and Onward together. You can come shoot me. It'll be great. Two o'clock tomorrow, unless it's already tomorrow, unless, and, and then, then, then it's today. But if it's a day after that, then you're screwed. So this is, I'm, I'm doing the best I can here. Like this video if you want to click one more thing before leaving this page, but love yourself even if you never leave this page and I'm doomed to live in the museum of tabs you have open, you absolute degenerate. Ow, I, I really didn't need to punch it that hard, okay. And I will see you again, uh, not in Narnia because the mod didn't work. So sad, okay, bye bye just like that. Wait for it. Boom, my computer.